Hi everybody, this is Sean Ruggieri and it's another late night here at Red Studios Hollywood. I'm down here on stage two with a C-stand holding my boom mic as my entire crew, but I just want to take a quick moment to introduce you to a new feature that we're rolling out in our next firmware builds. This is called Independent Display LUT. Now basically what that does is it allows me to send a different lookup table to each of my monitor paths simultaneously. So for instance, I can send a graded image close to finished, nice and pretty to my client monitors out of HDSDI uh, while simultaneously sending a nice flat image uh, out of my HDMI port which I could be sending to an external recorder let's say. Uh, of course I could do either of those to my LCD and EVF at the same time. Uh, now that flat image sending out could be of course red log film but what you can now do is apply an ACES compatible proxy as well. And if you do send the ACES proxy out of your monitor paths, the R3D is being recorded to the SSD mag will still contain the most up-to-date color space and gamma space, in this case, Dragon Color Red Gamma 4. But the R3D will also have a ACES uh, metadata tag applied to it. Now, I know that was, that was a lot of words really quickly, so let me just show you what I mean. I'll go into Menu Settings and into Look, Color Gamma. From there, you see the independent display LUT box. I'll check that. You see our light gray UI go to darker gray, indicating we're now in independent display LUT mode. Underneath there, ACES proxy. If I check that, you'll see red log film here. Turn to ACES. Let's get out of that mode for the moment. Now I can choose my color space, my gamma space right here. And then what I'll do is hit monitor control. That'll shortcut me into the monitor control menu. Um, since I have HDMI pulled up, let's say I want my HDMI image to be flat. I will hit neutral. Neutral would be either that red log film or the ACES proxy. So I'll go ahead and choose that. We saw that go flat there. I could then, of course, choose my HDSDI and send a different LUT out to that and so on and so forth. It's really that simple. I mean, now Video Village is happy, DITs are happy, camera department's happy, even editorial's happy. And everybody loves a happy ending.